Let's say you just got done with your shoot, everything looks perfect on the monitor, but when you import it into Final Cut Pro, you have this pesky little thing that you just wanna get rid of, that thing right there. I'm not just trying to show off my arms, but I'm pointing at that thing. What if I told you I can make it magically disappear? Let me show you exactly how that's done. So here we are in Final Cut Pro, as you can see here, I just took the clip that you just saw, and this is the raw clip, and all this really is is about masking. Basically what masking does is it can hide objects, it can make objects reappear in different parts of the frame. It's a really powerful tool in Final Cut Pro. It can also create those beautiful transitions, which I did a ton of tutorials of. You can check those out right here. But let me show you how this is done. It's very simple, very easy. So we're gonna go to our effects right here. And then while we have our effects on the side, what we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate this clip. So it's kind of like Photoshop. We need to work with different layers in order to add these effects. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key on my keyboard and just drag up a copy of the clip just like that. And all of the masks, all the effects that we're gonna do, which is actually just one little mask, is gonna be on this top clip. So I'm gonna go to the search bar on the effects panel and I'm going to be looking for the draw mask effect, drag and drop it onto the top clip. Now this effect I should say works best when you're using a tripod when the camera is just static because that way it'll be pretty consistent throughout the whole entire clip and you won't have to worry about keyframing it or moving the mask around. So let's just go ahead and draw a little mask around a sample area. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this object by putting a color over it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually take a little piece of this wall, take that color and just place it over this vent right here and that will block it out completely. So I'm just gonna draw out a little mask on the side here. Then I'm gonna close it off. Next, I wanna show you how this mask actually looks like. So I'm gonna disable the bottom clip by pressing on the V key. And you can see that little box or that little mask right there. And all we're gonna do is just move it over the vent. So I'm gonna re-enable the bottom clip. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the top clip. I'm gonna click on the transform and just drag over the mask until it blocks the vent completely. Now it's still a little bit inconsistent on the edges here of the mask as you can see, but we can fix that by using the feather option and we can make the feather larger, smaller. We can actually even create a little fall off. And on top of that, we can go to the color corrector and we can adjust the saturation. We can adjust the exposure. It looks like it needs to be a little bit darker, just a tad and boom, that's it. All done. It's perfectly seamless. And that's how you get rid of those annoying objects in your frame. Now, one thing you should know is that if you try to put your hand in front of the vent and then try to apply this effect, you'll notice that the mask is actually going to be on top of my hand. So make sure that you're not actually physically blocking that object that you want to get rid of. Otherwise, the masking technique will not work. So I hope this video has helped you out. Please remember to subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.